Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I hope you're all doing well. So as you guys can see from the title, today I'm reviewing Rare Beauty by the gorgeous, beautiful, you know, talented Selena Gomez, you guys. She's definitely one of my favorites, especially A Year Without Rain. I know back in the day, but the Spanish version. But today I'm reviewing Rare Beauty. I have everything here. By the way, I got this from Dollar Tree. It's such a good deal and it looks like more expensive. But yeah, I have a bunch of stuff to try out. I went to Sephora and the lady there told me that they are donating i believe it's a hundred million dollars which is a lot of money even saying it um to mental health which is amazing i love how this has a purpose to it you know it's just helping a lot of people mental health is really important and it's something i feel like we don't talk about enough so i love how she's starting that conversation or even not even starting it but you know adding more focus to it and not only that the foundation bottle looks something like this not even the foundation but you know most of her products have like a little ball here and this was made for people with arteritis hopefully i said that right um so that's something i didn't know you know people like went through so i'm like learning something new so that's amazing that she did that like i said this is makeup with the purpose so i love that already um but yeah today i'm just gonna review it on my oily texture skin seeing how it works throughout the day i do have like a lot of breakouts here my skin is not perfect i'm not flawless so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started so this brand you guys is cruelty free and also vegan and i believe the packaging um and the actual product is all recyclable which is amazing and rare beauty everything is under 30 dollars so you know it's affordable for sephora it's not the most affordable thing ever but at sephora you already know that's like not that expensive so i have everything here at the sephora website and i'm just gonna be reading everything to you guys so this is the liquid touch weightless foundation it retails for 29 dollars and it comes with 48 shades i believe so that's amazing how she started with a lot of shades and then this is what the packaging looks like again it's just super like clean looking which i love and i picked up the color 210 90 neutral okay this is described as medium color with neutral undertones i went neutral because you guys already know i can look like a like i apply mustard all over my face so i have to be careful with that um so i'm gonna go ahead and do this side with primer and this side without any primer so we can really see the difference i already went ahead and tried this yesterday and i filmed this video i just didn't like the way it turned out so i'm just gonna refilm it but i'm gonna add the clips when i did my eight hour wear test yesterday which is what's gonna be like a two-day review so again the packaging really nice and it does come with a applicator like this which i personally like it reminds me of the hard candy applicator so i'm gonna go ahead and add my paula's choice shine stopper instant matte finish looks like this it's amazing if you have oily skin and you have pores like me you're really gonna like this i am oily skin for those who are new here so i need a mattifying primer she did come out with a illuminating primer but to be honest you guys i do not like illuminating primers and also i did buy the mist which looks something like this this is the always an optimist four in one mist okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add this to my face i should have added before i apply primer but oh well by the way you guys i bought the milk hydro grip primer for the setting spray and this is actually like a really dewy primer you can see the oil at the top you know how oil and water don't like each other i feel like this is going to be a really dewy primer this one right here retails for 24 dollars so really expensive and it's an ultra fine glow boosting mist that hydrates prime sets and refreshes skin so you can use it before after makeup or even if you're not wearing makeup um and then this is what the sprayer looks like look at that you see how fine and nice it is i'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over my face i really like the mist hopefully she can come out with more mattifying products even though rare beauty is like you know really like natural looking makeup just you but a little better you know what i mean just to give you that little boost of confidence but nothing to hide who you are so that's like the whole vibe it's like model makeup but for everyone you know this is a weightless foundation with concentrated pigments that feels barely there while providing buildable medium to full coverage with a natural finish you had me at medium to full coverage um first i thought rare beauty was gonna be super like natural you know like you know like a little bit of coverage but no this foundation actually 
you know provides coverage i'm gonna apply some but this foundation you do not want to apply a lot this reminds me a lot of the mark jacobs remarkable i think that's what it's called um foundation it's those type of foundations that are mostly pigment if you have really dry skin i will recommend you apply a moisturizer first even i apply a moisturizer i apply my purilla mother of all creams i do this every single morning because i do have my rash here oh and by the way you guys i'm making sure um i took the filter off so you can really see how my skin looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and insert a before foundation so you guys can see how my skin really looks like i took the filter off this camera because i really wanted you to see the true effect you know this foundation and makeup and also my skin so now i'm going to go ahead and grab my amazon sponge and i'm going to start blending this in see as you guys are seeing really full coverage right away you do not need a lot of foundation if not it's going to look cakey um it feels like a really like light weightless kind of feels like a little bit powdery to be honest because it's so like lightweight i don't know how to explain it so this is what it looks like with one layer on my skin so you guys can see no foundation and then foundation it definitely looks like my skin my skin i don't know why i'm thinking of skims <laughs> um about 10 times better so i'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more here on the cheeks i recommend you apply the more where you need it and not a lot where you don't need it because this foundation i don't know it's just like concentrated like it's pigmented it has mostly like coverage in it you know so then i'm gonna blend it out i love how this is covering my skin and like i told you guys i don't think this is my color so let me know any of my foundation twins out there that has this foundation what you think my color is or do you think this is my color please let me know okay the hemen started so this is what the foundation looks like two layers my skin looks really good at least for me i really like the way it makes my skin look it looks like my skin but 10 times better but like i said if you have that mark jacobs remarkable it gives me that same vibe or even cover effects you know those foundations that are just like mostly pigment this is exactly what this is i feel like if you do have really really dry skin blend this in with the moisturizer just to make it look a little bit more better because to me this foundation works you know for my texture skin so far all right so we're gonna move on to concealer now um, i bought the liquid touch brightening concealer in the shade 250w this is selena's shade at least that's what they said here let me see yeah it says it's a light medium with warm peach undertones okay so again beautiful packaging this claims to be well this is 19 dollars. it's a lightweight hydrating concealer with a cake free medium to full coverage that lasts while brightening skin with the radiant finish so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and this is what the applicator looks like it's like you know an angle brush you know the ones you use to contour your nose that's exactly what this is i don't know if you guys notice i never um apply foundation underneath my eyes so nothing looks cakey so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this right here i'm gonna tell you right now do not blend this in right away because it doesn't have that good of a coverage so now i waited a little bit i never know what to do when i'm waiting i'm like just staring at myself um i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out This is like a more like serum concealer. Like I said, if you are gonna buy this concealer, leave it on, forget about it, and then come and blend it in or blend it out because if not, it's not gonna give you that much of a full coverage. So you guys can see, you can still see some of the darkness, but I personally do not mind. Um, I feel like it makes your makeup look just a little bit more natural now that that's done i'm gonna apply laura mercier honey powder so good if you have color in your skin i'm telling you this is gonna look amazing on dark skin tones such a beautiful shade look at that look how pretty that is so i bought the little travel size i went to sephora and got it i was gonna buy the bigger size but then i saw the price and i was like you know what i don't need it you know i apply a little bit and then i bounce my beauty sponge I can tell you one thing and it is that this concealer is working so much better today than it did yesterday 
which is why I'm telling you like the things I have noticed. This is a good thing about doing multiple reviews and trying it out different days because one day you might love it and the next day you hate it. Alrighty, so for my nose, I am going to apply a little bit of a thicker concealer because I do like to nose contour. And I notice when I want to do my nose contouring, it has to be a thicker concealer. So I'm just using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Air. And like I told you guys, I did do this review yesterday, so I'm going to show you how it looks like. Like the concealer just alone. So I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Face in the shade Nude Beige just to set the rest of my face. So once I do that, you guys, I am going to go ahead and apply just a little bit more of setting spray just to blend the foundation and all the powders I apply to my skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray this. This kind of smells like, like, is it maybe green tea? Yeah, it smells like teas. You know those little things that you like burn on your house? You know, they're like a little stick. That's what it smells like. So then I'm going to go ahead and apply some blush trying to find it here at the sephora website um this is called the soft pinch blush okay i love the packaging of this as well and this is 20 dollars. really expensive but you guys will see something about this it's a weightless long lasting liquid blush that blends and builds beautifully for a soft healthy blush available in matte and dewy finishes which is great um so i love that already i love how there's something matte and this is what the packaging looks like my sister thought this was lipstick you guys and i left it alone for a second and she was applying this on her lips you guys so this is for the uh cheeks you may be able to use this on your lips i'm not too sure it didn't look bad on her but this is one of her favorite products and she's more of a natural girl you know i'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the back of my hand this is extremely pigmented this product will last you like 10 years i'm not even kidding this is so pigmented so i'm gonna apply this with my elf sponge this is the camel sponge camel concealer sponge it's really really good it will stain it so be careful with that i'm just gonna apply it here it's supposed to be a long wearing blush and i found it the best way to apply this is with the sponge and not going in directly you see like this it gives you a really nice healthy looking just flush i really really enjoy this product and i thought i wasn't gonna like it but i love the way it looks all right so this liner right here retails for 19 dollars. okay it is the perfect stroke matte liquid liner it is supposed to be a long wearing waterproof matte liquid liner formulated with ultra black pigments for dramatic definition every time so this is what the packaging looks like it looks like a little boligrafo you know what is that called a pencil pen. no a pen looks like a pen and you have to go like this if you twist this you're gonna like remove the packaging i did that and i was so confused so this is what the applicator looks like and then this is the lines you can do um it has like a bunch of brushes like together it kind of looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this i like how you can put it in the back yesterday i did like the worst liner ever i'm gonna try and do better this time okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a mini wink liner all right guys so yeah they do not like each other they are freaking enemies at this point i'm gonna try and fix this i don't know why it's so hard for me to create and wing liner i don't know if it's just like the actual liner or if it's just me i don't even know i'm gonna apply some lashes these are the kmynx lashes in the style s684 i believe i'll have the link below for you guys almost done you guys this is what everything is looking like i am loving everything i'm loving everything way more today than i did yesterday which is a good thing i'm telling you i'm gonna have to start doing two-day reviews but i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lips i did buy a brighter color just for you guys because i know you guys do not like are tired of seeing me of nudes um so i bought this color right here and also because they didn't have any nudes i'm just gonna be honest with you guys this is the lip souffle matte creamy no matte cream lipstick it retails for 20 dollars, and i got the color inspire this is a weightless air whip lip cream that hugs lip with the rich color nourishing nor right nourish nourishing 
nourishing. Okay, I can't say that. Hydration that gives a soft, velvety matte finish. This is why I hate reading out loud, you guys. In class, I would like freaking want to leave, run. I don't even know. I just wanted to hide when they made us read out loud but this is supposed to be a really long wearing lip cream and i'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips first i'm using the nyx cover it and the gara beauty current okay these are like the two lip liners i like to use when i'm wearing red lipsticks i like to use, do this step because i feel like no matter what lip combo i feel like a liner just makes everything look better and again this is inspired this is what the applicator looks like it looks like this and it has like a weird scent to it. it. Doesn't smell like cake or anything. It just smells like weird. And it's a super light lipstick. If you want a light lipstick, this is the one for you. You don't like the feel of makeup. I feel like this whole brand is for you. All right, guys. So this is the final look we have created today. Let me make sure there's no, you know, lipstick on my teeth. This color definitely makes me feel like very different. I don't know what it is about it But yeah guys, this is what everything looks like I'm really really happy with all the products to be honest and how you know everything is sitting on my skin I feel like my skin doesn't look cakey You know, it just looks like my skin a little bit of makeup, you know, but a little bit better So I'm gonna go ahead and just set my skin I'm gonna be using the rare beauty on this side and then I'm gonna use my makeup forever on this other side of my skin because I want to see how my you know my products work with the foundation this setting spray is amazing for oily skin it actually has like powder to it so it just makes everything look really mad all right guys so i went ahead and finished my makeup this is how everything looks like i'm honestly super happy with the products you guys this is my second day of wearing it and i am so happy with how everything looks like um but right now you guys it is currently 12 19 so 12 20 i'm gonna wear this for a couple of hours i am gonna go ahead and insert the clips of me wearing it yesterday for the first time so you guys can see you know how it looks like for eight hours i did also wear a mask and all that stuff so i'm just gonna go ahead and insert those clips and then i'll see you guys later throughout the day so I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on how everything is looking like. Right now, it's currently 3.49, so it hasn't even been like two hours or anything. Um, but I want you guys to get my drink. I got a strawberry, not a strawberry, a vanilla bean frappuccino. It's one of my favorite ones. And I just put um, coconut milk. So that's what I'm drinking. And I wanted to show you guys how the lipstick is looking like. This is such a comfortable like matte but not drying lipstick it's really really nice i hope she comes out with like nude colors now that will be everything um but yeah guys this is what it looks like just wanted to show you guys and then i did wear my mask and then this is what my mask looks like so you know the foundation is still on i need to go look at myself in the mirror yeah honestly nothing really came off maybe here around my nose a little bit that's because i was wearing my sunglasses but other than that, you guys, I feel like everything looks good. I'm happy with it. It looks very natural. It looks really good outside. Not even gonna lie, outside the foundation did look a little bit too pink. So you might want to know that in case you guys are my foundation twins. But other than that, I'm happy with everything. You see, look, it's like kiss proof at the same time this is actually very very nice so it has been around seven hours and this is how my makeup is currently looking like i'm honestly very impressed so far i feel like everything looks really good my skin looks healthy you know um it looks like i have been wearing my makeup for a long time but nothing too like expired you know everything looks really good um the concealer though in the other hand i do not like the concealer i do have to say that right now i do not like this concealer but i do love how this foundation looks i feel like it looks like my skin but like 10 times better you know like i have just my life together so really love how both sides look like i do have to say i feel like the side that i put setting spray and powder no, not setting spray in like my primer looks 10 times better than this side right here especially since i did wear my mask you can see here the mask took a little bit of foundation off and then also my nose area um you can tell the foundation's like 
rubbing off there. So definitely I will wear this foundation. And if you have oily skin, wear it with the primer, a good mattifying primer. So I'm gonna try out this Blot and Glow blotting sheet. This were $5. Pretty much what you do, you buy the $26 one, but I did not want to spend $26, so I just bought this by itself to blot my skin. So this is what it looks like. Comes with 100 sheets. Definitely expensive, but when you're at Sephora, $5 is like drugstore, you know? So I'm just going to go ahead and blot my skin. Ooh. I feel like it's definitely making me look a little bit less oily. But it's completely removing the foundation on this side. Keep in mind, this side doesn't have any primer. And I also love how the blush is still there. So that's what it looks like. I don't think these blotting sheets are anything, to be honest, anything worth buying. So, so far, the only thing I'm really not liking has to be these blotting sheets. Not that good. And also the concealer. So I'm going to go ahead, remove all this makeup, go do some homework that I have to go do. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. So I am back. I am going to go ahead and end the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my wear test. Right now it is currently about to be three. So I've been wearing this foundation for two hours and I also did eat something so this is what it looks like once you eat something it still stays on it just gets a little bit more like you know it fades away just a little bit but i still really like it so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my quick review on rare beauty i'm gonna go ahead and start by talking about the products i liked i really like this foundation i love the packaging i like how you do not need a lot of foundation and it's gonna last you a long time this is the type of stuff you want to wear for work you know school you want it to look like your skin that's the foundation for you it is super thin i am not gonna say it's the best oily skin foundation ever but as you guys saw it worked really good just wear a mattifying primer and a mattifying setting spray and it's gonna last you a really long time and then i also really like the blush surprisingly i will recommend again do not put it strictly into your face because it's gonna be so hard to blend out so i would suggest you apply it in your hands and then blend it with the sponge and it's really long wearing and i like how it doesn't look powdery yet you still have blush on so these two things are like my favorite two items that i'm like yeah they're definitely worth the money and then i cannot forget about the lip product this is definitely one of my favorite products as well it's pigmented long wearing you don't feel it in your lips it blends amazing with the lip liner it's definitely worth the money and it's actually a unique formula and i also love the applicator hopefully they can come out with like more neutral tones and i will be super excited over that so those are like my three favorite favorite items that if I will recommend to a friend you know and then the rest of the products are okay i would not buy the concealer again i'm actually gonna return it it's not that good like it, it actually creases too underneath the eye area just buy the elf hydrating concealer if you are looking for a hydrating concealer that one works better this just didn't really do anything for me and i just find it to be like it just creases a lot and then i also did not like the blotting sheets just stick to the clean and clear ones and then lastly the liner was good but it wasn't my favorite one i might keep it i may not i'm still deciding it was good i just feel like maybelline has really good ones you know but that one if you want a black liner you want to spend a little bit more you might like it and then the setting spray is something that is expensive but i'm glad i have it but i don't think i will say run and get it you know so that was my rare beauty review hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you guys have tried any products from them let me know in the comments below but yeah guys that's it thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next one Bye guys!